Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Easy Concepts. Today, we'll go through a small topic in Java which confuses many students. It is null versus empty string. So let's proceed. We know that when we declare a variable, it is assigned a value null, zero or false based on its primitive type. So here we are dealing with string. So it is assigned the value null. This means that declaring a string like this is same as writing like string null is equal to null. The only difference is here we are initializing manually. Like in the first one, the JVM does that. In second one, you do it yourself. But there is a subtle difference. If you try to invoke a method on first one, it will give you an error that you need to initialize it. So if you try to compile it, it won't even compile. But for the second one, it will compile as compiler will see that, okay, it is being initialized, but at runtime, it will be like, okay, I was being fooled. There was nothing. So it will give null pointer exception. See here, if you see the object in the right hand side, the null string, this is the one we are talking about. It is pointing to nothing. To invoke an object, it has to point something on heap somewhere, at least on string pool, but it is pointing nowhere. You can see this in other way, like objects are proper noun, like person, teacher, students, vehicle, etc. And methods are verbs, like eat, teach, read, start. And you say person.eat, teacher.teach, student.start, vehicle.start, right? Basically, you need something, a noun, an object here to do the action through verb, which is a method. The same way you need an object to invoke a method. You can check null string instance of object to see if it is the instance of an object class. But you will get false. That shows that null string is not an object. Moving on to empty string. When we create string as string str is equal to double quotation mark an empty double quotation mark an object is created on he and its reference is stored in empty str variable. In right hand side you can see the object is created and its reference is stored in this blue empty str reference variable. This is the reason why when you do empty str instance of object you get true because an object is actually created. The string object that is created is empty but because an object is created you can invoke methods like dot length and if you do empty str dot length you will get zero because although the object is created it is empty so we'll get zero as length. So this was the difference between null string and empty string. In null string, the object is not created. However, in empty string, the object is created, but it is empty. So you can invoke method. But if you will try to invoke method on any null string or something that is pointing to null, you will get null pointer exception. Thank you for watching Easy Concepts. Please subscribe, like and comment for more tutorials. And don't forget to ring the bell icon for more updates.